Good morning, everyone. I pray today that when the Father speaks to you, you'll just answer and say, yes, Lord. You'll say, okay, God, I got this. Now, we have a biblical hero who could not seem to do that because of all the trouble that was in his life, the fears that were in his life, the ways that things were going. He was afraid so much that he was hiding and holding the ground. What am I talking about? Gideon. Gideon. I know sometimes we talk about Gideon and his mighty army, but to, to get him to the mighty army, we've got to go through how God spoke to him first. And so what happens here? Well, Israel is in trouble again. The Midianites and everyone else, the Malachites, are taking everything out of the land. They've got nothing left. It is so bad that Gideon is threshing wheat in a hole in the ground because he knows that if they see it, they're going to come and take his wheat. He's got nothing. You ever been that destitute? Lord, I have nothing. And the enemy is going to come and take it from me if I am exposed. But then the angel of the Lord visits him and says this to him, O valiant warrior. <laughs> Now imagine, you're threshing wheat in a hole in the ground, and an angel appears to you and says, Oh, valiant warrior, how do you respond? Well, the first thing I, I would respond is to go, Oh my, where did you come from? The angel of the Lord is here in front of me. What do I do? But then the term, Oh, valiant warrior, meaning you who have more inside of you than you realize. What does Gideon do? Who, me? Because occasionally our spiritual self-esteem is so low that when God speaks to us, he's really got to grab our attention. And so this conversation then goes on, and it says to him, listen, go in the strength that you have and save the nation. And again, he goes, what? Do what? You ever have those times in your life when God says, I'd like for you to do something, and you go, who, me? Do what? That is completely outside my comfort zone. That's beyond my pay grade. Understand, when God says, I need you to do something, he has already prepared you for it. There are many times in my own life when God says, I need you to do this, and part of me goes, I don't know about that. And then I realize, oh no, the Father's prepared me for this because I can do this. One of the easiest ones and the most fun is this. I didn't know that I was going to come to California as an intern. But my friend Ed and I got a job at a meatpacking plant. So at night we were out there packing meat and one night they unloading trucks rather and the, the boss comes and says hey move those trucks and i look at one another well these are high-end stick shift you know 24 foot panel trucks we have no clue and we don't know how to drive a stick shift and he goes oh you just go out you put it in gear and then you shift it oh okay so ed and i learned how to drive a stick shift driving these big trucks around the parking lot so much. We're having so much fun, we got ourselves in trouble. Well, that's the only part of the story. Well, that summer, I was invited to come out here to be an intern. And one of the things was they lent you a car. Well, they lent me a car, and the guy says, here's the keys to my car. I'm going on a motorcycle trip across country, see you in August. Didn't ask me if I could drive a stick or anything. Just hand me the keys, and I get in the car. It's a four-on-the-floor stick shift. I'm going, ah, oh, I... Then I realized, when God asks you to do something, he asked me to come be an intern, I am going to prepare the way for you. And it's been that way ever since in my life. So, but then, Gideon goes and has this conversation, argument, well, if God loves us, why has he done this? Why has he done that? Why hasn't he saved us? And so, he says, well, if you're God, I need you to prove this to me. He says, tell you what, I'll go prepare a sacrifice. So, he says, will you wait? The angel of the Lord Jesus says, yeah, I'll wait. And so he goes and prepares a goat. Now, it takes time to do that. He gets some unleavened bread, brings it back, puts it, he's about to cook it, and the angel of the Lord hits it with a staff and consumes it. You think by then, he go, okay, I got this. God, what do you need me to do? 
that's where fleece and faith come in. Because first of all, I said, Lord, I need you to prove to me that this is you. He does. We would say it this way. Father, I want you to make, let me make sure that this is your leading in my life. That's fair enough. That's where faith comes in. Lord, give me some signposts along the way. Encourage my heart. That's what Gideon is saying here. Lord, let me go and prepare a kid for you. Let me go prepare a sacrifice and come back. Then God says, I need you to deliver the country. And so he builds a fire and goes and tears down an Asherah pole. And God, he thinks that's it. Okay, I've done it. I'm the valiant warrior. God says, no, we're not done yet. I need you to go take an army and defeat the Midianites. Now understand the progression here from, O oh, valiant warrior, who are you, to the conversation, to if you're God, let me you know, affirm that for me. Now you want me to do this big thing? Well, he's been preparing Gideon the whole time. He doesn't just say, Gideon, go do an army. Okay. No, because Gideon has been prepared for this his whole life. And so now, I need you to do this. Now comes the fleece. First is affirm. Now fleece. Lord, I want to make sure this is your leading. So I need you to make sure, I'm going to put some fleece out, and I want you to make sure that the fleece is wet and the ground is dry. Gideon goes to sleep, comes back. It's as he says. Okay, let's do it in reverse. I just want to be, affirm this one more time. He comes back the next morning. It's the same thing. We do the same thing in our lives by saying, Lord, if you will just do this, help me to see. And I go back and forth. Do you need a fleece test or are you going to trust? Actually, there are times when they go hand in hand. And sometimes fleece tests are nothing more than the Father assuring you. In my own life, I was about to leave Cleveland and come here to California. Pregnant wife and car, I'm going to go to seminary. And Lord, I need you. Now, we have quit our jobs. We have moved out of our apartment. That Saturday, we were packing up everything. I was going to go to work, turn in my keys. And I said, Lord, I know this is what you want me to do. Lord, just help me to hear fuller on my way <laughs> to work this morning. I never listen to Christian radio. That morning, I turned on the radio. I'm going under a railroad trestle, and I could have sworn the guy said Charlie Fuller. But I get back through under the railroad trestle, and God says, that was Charlie Fuller in the old-fashioned revival hour. I got it, God. The Lord had already confirmed that in my heart. But I'm saying, Lord, I just want to make sure. And I think that's where Gideon is. Because saving the nation is way outside of his pay grade, pay grade, but the Father has already prepared him for that. Each step of the way, the Father is saying, Oh, valiant warrior, I need you to lead. I need you to stop hiding. Don't test me. Walk with me. That's the idea with faith, faith and fleece. Walk with me. The more we walk with the Father, the more we trust the Father, the less we need the fleece. Because then our relationship is such that we just walk with Him and know what it is He is doing, how it is He is leading us. I know God may not ask you to save the nation. God may just say, I need you to pray for your family. God may just say, I need you to talk to your coworker. God may just say, I need you to pray for your boss. God may just say, I need you to give to such and such. I would like for you to go on a missions trip. I would like for you to. Because there are times when the Father visits each and every one of us and whispers in our ear and calls us by name and so says something to the effect of, O oh, valiant warrior. Our answer then should be, yes, Lord. I know it's scary. It's fearful. But when we say, yes, Lord, here am I. How can I walk with you today? 
Lord, we bless you for today. Lord, we thank you for Gideon. Lord, and all the story that he gives us, that, Lord, we know that we can walk with you even when we're doing fleece test. In your name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Be blessed today, Lord, friends.